And it's time to work our way through some of the myths, uh, myths that are associated with vaccinations. There lo there's lots of them out there. Not an easy job she has. She's a pharmacist with the Loblaws Merrillville. Uh, Jennifer Cutton is joining us. Hello. Hi, thanks for having me. Uh, good to have you here. Uh, first of all, let's define a vaccine. Like, what, what is a vaccine exactly? Yeah, so it's a medication that prevents illness. So it could be an injection, which is most common, mm -hmm. or an oral suspension that you would swallow. Um, but the way it works is it's an inactivated or severely weakened virus that's introduced into your body. So that creates antibodies that remember the disease it was exposed to to prevent, the, to prevent you from getting sick from the disease in the future. Okay, but there's an anti-vaccine movement out there. Yeah. So, so why is this taking place? I think it's taking place due to the internet. So a lot of voices can drown out the voices of healthcare professionals. So you see all this different information and you don't know what to trust. But the great thing about pharmacists is you could go to any Loblaws or Shoppers Pharmacy and speak to a pharmacist about any concerns you would have about vaccines. Mm, and you're, you're not going to lie to us. No. I mean, you're going to tell us, obviously, what's good, what's bad, 100%. what is needed. Uh, so it's called vaccine hesitancy, correct? Yeah. So, so why does this put adults in danger? So about 3% of Canadian adults say that they've received the correct number of vaccines for the risk and age group, and that's horrifyingly low. Um, so when you hesitate before getting a vaccine, most of the time you won't end up getting it, which puts you at risk for so many preventable illnesses. Mm -hmm. So it's basically misinformation, miseducation, uh, that's what's making people think. Exactly. Okay. So you say it's, it's due to the news, the media, the internet, yeah. people that are just making up stories, fake news as they say? I, yeah, yeah, fake news to okay. use a clickbait term. Yeah. So what are some common vaccinations that adults should get? Yeah, so one that jumps to mind is pneumococcal disease. Mm -hmm. So that's a bacteria that can cause, if it gets into your lungs, pneumonia. So there's actually two vaccines that help prevent against pneumonia, and they're wonderful because they decrease your chance of getting it. And if you do get it, they make the disease way less severe. Mm -hmm. I like to talk to patients about that during flu shot season. Um, that brings them in and I can discuss they're already there. So it's a great opportunity to ask your pharmacist about that. Mm -hmm. Because I'm curious as to know when you should get vaccinations for, for certain. Yeah, so that one is usually 50 years and over, but different risk factors can make it so you might need it earlier. Another really common one is the HPV vaccine. Mm -hmm. That's human papilloma, human papilloma virus that can yeah. lead to cervical cancer. So a lot of adults don't have that, and you could get it at any point. So just go into a Loblaws or Shoppers and talk to your pharmacist about mm. that one. Kids get it in school? Kids get it in school, yeah. yeah. Okay. But lots of us miss the boat on that. Yeah, okay. Uh, so let's talk about the misconceptions, the myths that are sort of like, what are some of the crazy ones that you hear? The one I get all the time is I don't want to get that vaccine because it'll make me get the disease it's trying to prevent. Mm -hmm. And that is completely not true. Um, vaccines are mostly inactivated viruses, and if they're not inactivated, they're so significantly weakened, all they can do is mount that immune response I was talking about earlier. They can't make you sick. Mm -hmm. But people think, I, I guess that's the big one that I hear all the time, yeah, too. That like, that's going to make me sicker. It's going to yeah. make me feel worse. Impossible. The only side effects, really, most of the time the vaccines cause is some arm soreness and maybe redness. Yeah, it could be kind of fun, you know? Yeah, you can have a, have a reason not to go to the gym that day. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Yeah. Can't go today. But how can pharmacists help? Because I know you have a busy job. I see a lot of people walking up to you and asking yeah. you some maybe silly questions. There are no silly questions. Okay, good. I'm glad you said that. Yep. But, I mean, you will answer questions if people have concerns yeah. about uh, vaccines. We can do research, too, for people. If we don't have the answer right off the top of our heads, then you can certainly leave us your info and we'll do some research and get back to you. That's okay. We're so accessible. Okay, so, but how does it work? I mean, what's the hierarchy, I guess? Do you go to see the doctor first, they tell you what vaccines you need, then go to the pharmacist? You can even go to the pharmacist and really? a lot of the time we have regular patients so we'll know your history, um, but even for a age group. So a new vaccine that just came out was Shingrix for shingles. Mm. Everyone over 50 is eligible to get that one and one in three Canadians get shingles. So if you go to a pharmacist and say you haven't, you've heard about this shingles vaccine, should you get it? You probably should get it and we can contact your doctor and get a prescription for hmm. you. Do you need to make appointments nope. for vaccines? Most of, most of the time, no. I know at my pharmacy you certainly don't need to and most Loblaws and Shoppers pharmacies you don't need an appointment. Okay. And as far as uh, pharmacists are concerned, you're dealing with five and up. Yeah, so currently um, we're only able to give vaccines to children ages five and older. Okay, because I'm assuming that family doctors would take care of exactly. toddlers and so on and so forth. And you're located, your exact location, where is where is the Loblaws Mar on Maryville? My Maribel? store is 1460 Maryville Road, there but all Loblaws and Shoppers pharmacies are great. There you go, nice company, <laughs> company lady right there. Jennifer, thank you very much for being thank here. Thank you so much. Keeping us informed, we appreciate it. Thank you, have a good day.